My name is Ursula de Silva. I'm the spokesperson of Camp Rimba, which for over a year has been protecting prime koala habitat in the Rimba State Forest from being turned into low quality salvage wood. If Forest Corp New South Wales was truly taking into account the sustainability of their industry, then they must answer to their contribution to a global climate crisis and a biodiversity collapse. Professor Linda Meyer often cites the impacts of logging on increasing fires and droughts in his research. Native forest logging also contributes significantly to our greenhouse emissions, releasing as much as a quarter of Australia's transport emissions, as many of its products have short lifespans, such as paper pulp, wood chips and pallets. Furthermore, 60% of the biomass from logging is burnt back into the atmosphere, or is left behind to become fire hazards, such as seen in the photo handed to the committee. Shortly after this fire was taken, the area burnt in the catastrophic fires of the Black Summer. There is nothing sustainable about this practice in an economic or environmental sense. The demand for softwood is growing, which is a plantation-based wood. In fact, 87% of the nation's log production comes from plantations alone. The building industry does not require native forest logging for its continuation. It does not take great economic foresight to see that plantation-based timber, not native forest logging, is the way of the future. According to the AWE, plantation and farm forestry provide the greatest opportunity for the growth of the wood and paper industry. Switching off the mindset of using native forest as a timber resource in a time of mass extinction is critical. If instead we're open to practices such as carbon trading schemes, we could generate approximately $60 million from the Eden and Southern RFA areas alone in the period of 2022 to 2041. Contrast this to the $20 million of taxpayer money lost last year to fund this obsolete and harmful practice. New South Wales will be wise to catch up with the growing trend of phasing out native forest logging as seen in Victorian WA and facilitate an inevitable and sustainable evolution of the industry using transitional packages such as demonstrated by these states. It would benefit us in job security and provision. Such transition is key to helping the survival of our species and millions of others on a planet we must stop taking for granted. I need you to stop logging Arimba's forests today and turn them into koala reserves now.